Hey y'all, Irix Guy here back again with another uh, Final Cut Pro 11. I keep wanting to say Final Cut Pro 10, but we're on Final Cut Pro 11 now. But I felt this was a great example, a common use case for one of the cool and new features within Final Cut Pro 11. So you can see here, the due to the challenging lighting that I have, my background before I entered the frame, you can see there's the Appalachian Ocean but then when I enter the frame, everything is, the exposure is all jacked up. So one of the cool things you can do, you can go into, um, within this section, show the color inspector. You can go into it within Final Cut Pro 11. In the past, you had to have a pretty, uh, at least basic working knowledge of how to adjust saturation brightness which is also common well there's actually it's broken out it's brightness exposure contrast shadows blah 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 but now with final cut pro 11 because of some of the ai tools that it's incorporated that it that are integrated within final cut pro 11 look at this so i've selected this clip which the background just looks horrible i'll do enhance light and color boom that quickly i mean it's i mean it's without me manually refining it i mean it's it's gotten everything uh a little bit better i mean that this was a horrible situation to film in but you know sometimes you got to uh you got to do what you got to do and that's when i was filming this video but you can see that and and then these are the values that it adjusted so you could use the uh, the enhanced light and color, and then you could go in and further refine it. See, that's negative forty one point three. That's eh, too dark. See, you can you can adjust those yourself, or you can just do undo exposure change, and it'll go back to where it was. I mean, certain situations. I mean, obviously, the the most important aspect of this video that the subject in this case, me, in the foreground is you know, is standing out and, and clear. The background, I don't like this, the way this looks, but by auto enhancing it, I mean, it looks a lot better than it did. Uh, I could go into the brightness here, that's 10.5, I could bring that down, but see, then I darken myself. So certain situations, I mean, are just, you know, you need to, you probably need to just film in in better lighting conditions but to see where this was at the start of this video and to see how it is now i mean no the background's not perfect but the enhanced light and color just the automatic feature built into final cut pro 11 it did a a pretty good job of a of an otherwise extremely complicated uh thing for somebody to tweak i mean especially somebody that's that's new to video editing and if you are that's great you found the right channel because i'm going to post a ton of final cut pro 11 tutorial videos ask your questions below and i'll try to film and post video responses to your question or questions but i mean this looks so much better than it did initially and all it was was a click of that one button enhance light and color so enhance light and color is a great new feature uh, that you'll find within Final Cut Pro 11. Subscribe and check out all of my Final Cut Pro 11 tutorial videos. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. I hope you enjoyed this video and please be sure to subscribe to my channel and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.